Hi, it's Brian here again. Um, another quick little quick tip tutorial. I'm on the classroom site, the one we did earlier, and I'm, I created this this page as you saw. It's basically a learning, just a template, just an example, but there's loads of them. Um, I've logged in and I've noticed I've got an update. Now, I want to show you how to add pages and then add them to a menu at the top of your page. Really simple stuff. But just because it's there, I'm just going to show you how to do an update. See, it says I've got two pending and it's asking me to update this plugin so I could just tick up there to select them all and click just simply click update plugin and the trick here is just to let it completely finish if you've got a slow browser just let it completely finish until you see this at the bottom of the list and then you know it's done and you just click simply click up there or go to updates and we could do the uh, update the theme as well and same again just let it completely finish the twirling bars gone you 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 know it's not lagging and it's completely done that's done so now that we know that's safe so let's go and um go to pages and you can see we've got a home page now we maybe want a contact me page so we're just going to click um add new and it, we're getting these options here but i like to write the title in at this point so i'm going to name it contact me but because it's a head it's going to be shown in a menu I want it to be capital me and um, we're going to use the DV builder so we just simply click that let it do its thing we should get that there we go and we're going to click browse layouts now we were using this theme the learning management theme so just just to keep within the theme I'm going to go to contact you can see that's already been built built for me I can edit it as I wish and I'm just going to say yep yeah, let's use that layout just to save me time um, I could pick any other layout and just adapt it if I wanted to but I'm, I'm just going to stick with the basic theme for ease purposes and you can see there it's all pre-filled for me and I'm just going to pretend that I'm happy with that so I'm just going to press publish because I, I, actually, I actually want it to be done and now what I'm going to do I've got my contact us page I'm going to go up here and press exit the visual builder voila it's all got the default animations for the for the theme there you go and I'm, I can edit that as I wish but I just want to get to the menu you can see it's already added up here but it's just going to add every every single page that we've got like here look uncategorized category there and all this stuff we don't want that so what we do is we go into the back end we can go from here to straight to menus but if you're already in your dashboard um, it's normally here appearance and menus I'm going to go in there you can see we've got no menus pre-made so we're going to name one I normally call it main for the main menu <laughs> click create menu and I want it to be the primary mem menu so I I'm going to tick that one there you could also make it the secondary and whatever but primary menu and now we can start adding what we want in that menu so I I want the home page and I want the contact me page and the privacy policy you normally put at the footer of your page so I'm not going to add that to my menu I'm just going to add them and now I'm going to order it by just dragging it like that now you can see if I drag this slightly up you see how that's got an indent there now that's a drop down you know when you get the drop down on your menu but we just leave it out like that because well, we want that and we can just add the pages as we go so now I've done that I'm going to save menu now again because we've changed it you can also manage the locations here you know primary menu you know you're going to use the main secondary menu you're going to use whatever whatever so we get to that um, but we could do the sub menu I suppose while we're here so okay let's um, create a new menu let's call it um, no let's call it footer foot let's create that so for the footer menu just tick there let's have the privacy policy in there um, let's put the contact us in there as well. Here we go, um, and we'll have that 
privacy policy on top. And we're just going to save that. Some themes don't use footer menus, you might have to put them in. But it's just nice, you know, while we're here. Okay, so now we've had, we've got two menus now. We see we get the choice what one we what one we want to work with. I tend to go back to the main one and just press select just so we you know, because you, you can get confusing. And you can also go back to manage locations here. And as you can see now in the footer, we've got foot. So let's go back to the front end and see what's going on. There we go. There's our menu. And see how that's highlighted blue? That's all in our color scheme, uh, which we can change. Change anything and everything. Let's scroll down and see what's going on down here. There we go. The footer menu is now showing. Po uh, privacy policy and the contact me is there. Footers are handy because when if you've got a long page and people are down the bottom, they can have like a back to top, which you can turn on here actually. And you know, they, they can see you might have an affiliate program or something like that you might want to put there as well. And that's how you do the menu. So now we've got the uh, contact me, so we can click that. And voila, there's the contact me page. You see? and you still get the footer menu which is really really good so there you go that's how we add a page and put it in the menu easy peasy um, and we just repeat the process if you want you know like the about me page you can just add the page and then order it in your menu um, any problems just you know contact me in the site in my new support system the ticket system I got going uh, it's much better than leaving comments in YouTube because at least there I get the emails and I, c I can answer it and maybe use, use the responses and the question in a frequently asked questions list. Aha! Anyway, I hope you found that helpful and uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe and share. It would be really helpful. I, I need to get to a thousand members. That would be really cool. And I hope you found this helpful. That's the main thing. Yeah, talk again soon. Take care. Where is the stop?